everyone. I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to make the On Trend Market Bag. This is the third market bag in the 2023 Marvelous Market Bag Crochet Along. And welcome if you're joining me for that. Uh, if you were, this is, if this is your first time hearing about the Crochet Along, do check out the links down in the description of this video. Uh, you'll find all the information that you need down there. So this is our third market bag. We're working one market bag a week. And uh, this beautifully textured market bag is worked in half double crochet stitches in your third loop and these beautiful thick feather stitches. This bag is quite thick. It will use a little bit more yarn than some of the other bags in the crochet along, but it's wonderful to work. The bag is worked from the bottom up through to the top and it's continuous handles. It's worked all as one piece and laid flat. It measures approximately 15, 16 inches across the width by 18 inches in length when it's laid flat. And that excludes the handles. For the tutorial today, you're going to need a 100% worsted weight cotton. I am using the 24-7 Cotton by Lion Brand. It's a worsted weight and there's about 186 yards per ball. I'm going to be using three different colors. I'll be using this silver color for my color A. You're going to need two balls. I'm going to be using the denim color for my color B and again you'll need two balls of denim. And then my color C is this sky color and you're only going to need one ball of the sky color. I'm also going to be using a 4 millimeter or G6 crochet hook. Free, the free written pattern can be found on my website at richtexturescrochet.com and I invite you to head over there to take a look at it and follow along as you watch this video. So again, thank you so much for joining me. While you're here, I invite you to subscribe, take a look around. Uh, there are several other market bag patterns on this channel. I've been doing this crochet along now for three years and there are certainly more to come so be sure to follow along let's grab our hooks and yarn and get started our bag today is worked from the bottom up and we're going to be working in rounds we're going to start by making a slip knot and chaining four alternatively you may use a magic ring and then work 12 double crochet into the magic ring today i'm going to chain four and then work 11 double crochet into the fourth chain from my hook. The chain three at the start of this round and every round counts as a double crochet stitch. Once you have your 11 double crochet in your chain 3 or 12 double crochets into a magic ring, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch, which is that starting chain 3. That brings you to the end of round 1. For round 2, you're going to chain 3. Once again, it counts as a double crochet stitch and work a double crochet into the same stitch as joining. You're then going to work two double crochet stitches into each stitch all the way around. When you come to your first stitch, that starting chain three, join with the slip stitch into the top of the starting chain three. At the end of this round, including that starting chain three, you will have a total of 24 stitches. At the end of round two, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch, which is your starting chain three. For round three, chain three. Into your next stitch, you're going to work two double crochet stitches.
Next, work one double crochet into your next stitch, followed by two double crochets into your next. You're going to repeat that all the way around, one double crochet into your next stitch, followed by two double crochets into your next, all the way around until you come to your first stitch. Join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. At the end of this round, you'll have a total of 38 stitches. Sorry, 36 stitches. For round four, chain three, work one double crochet into your next stitch. You're then going to work two double crochets into your next stitch. Next, work one double crochet into each of the next two stitches. followed by two double crochet into the next stitch. You're going to repeat this all the way around, one double crochet into each of the next two stitches, followed by two double crochets into your next stitch. When you come to your first stitch, join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. At the end of this round, you'll have a total of 48 stitches. For round five, you're going to chain three and work a double crochet into each of the next two stitches. You're then going to work two double crochets into the next stitch. Next, work one double crochet into each of the next three stitches. followed by two double crochets into your next stitch. You're going to repeat this all the way around, one double crochet into each of the next three stitches, followed by two double crochets into your next stitch until you come to the first stitch, then you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. At the end of this round, you're going to have a total of 60 stitches. For round six, chain three, work one double crochet into each of the next three stitches, followed by two double crochets into your next stitch. Next, you're going to work one double crochet into each of the next four stitches. followed by two double crochet stitches into your next stitch. You're going to repeat this all the way around, one double crochet into each of the next four stitches, followed by two double crochets into your next stitch, until you come to your first starting chain three, slip stitch into the top of that starting chain three, and at the end of this round you'll have a total of 72 stitches. For round seven, you're going to chain three and work a double crochet into each of the next four stitches. Then work two double crochets into your next stitch. Next, you're going to work one double crochet into each of the next five stitches, followed by two double crochets into your next stitch. You're going to repeat this all the way around, one double crochet into each of the next five stitches, followed by two double crochets into your next stitch, until you come around to your starting chain three, join with a slip stitch into the top of your starting chain three. At the end of this round, you'll have a total of 84 stitches. For round eight, you're going to chain three and work a double crochet into each of the next five stitches.
Then work two double crochets into your next stitch. Next, work one double crochet into each of the next six stitches. Followed by two double crochets into your next stitch. You're going to repeat this all the way around one double crochet into each of the next six stitches followed by two double crochets into your next stitch until you come to your first stitch join with a slip stitch into the top of this first stitch. At the end of this round you'll have a total of 96 stitches. For round 9, chain 3, Work one double crochet into each of the next six stitches. Then work two double crochets into your next stitch. Next, work one double crochet into each of the next seven stitches. Then work two double crochets into the same stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way around one double crochet into each of the next seven stitches followed by two double crochets into the next stitch until you come to your first stitch which is that ch starting chain three. Join with the slip stitch into the top of your starting chain three and at the end of this round you'll have a total of 108 stitches. For round 10 you're going to chain three and work one double crochet into each of the next seven stitches. Next, work two double crochets into your next stitch. Work one double crochet into each of the next eight stitches. followed by two double crochets into your next stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way around one double crochet into each of the next eight stitches followed by two double crochets into your next stitch all the way around until you come to your starting chain three join with a slip stitch into the top of that first starting chain three and at the end of this round 10, you'll have a total of 120 stitches. For round 11, you're going to chain 3 and work one double crochet into each of the next 8 stitches. Then work two double crochets into your next stitch. Next, work one double crochet into each of the next nine stitches.
then work two double crochets into your next stitch. You're going to repeat this all the way around one double crochet into each of the next nine stitches followed by two double crochets into your next stitch all the way until you come to your first stitch when you come to your first stitch join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch at the end of this round you'll have a total of 132 stitches For round 12, and this is the last of our increase rounds, you're going to chain 3 and work a double crochet into each of the next 9 stitches. There's eight and nine. You're then going to work two double crochet stitches into your next stitch. Next, you'll work one double crochet into each of the next ten stitches. That's five. followed by two double crochet stitches into your next stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way around one double crochet into each of the next 10 stitches followed by two double crochets into your next stitch until you come to your first stitch. Join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. At the end of this round 12, you'll have a total of 144 stitches and this will be the end of your increase rounds for the bag bottom. At the end of round 12, this is what your bag bottom is going to look like. That brings you to the end of your increase rounds for the bag bottom. Now for the next three rounds, rounds 13, 14, and 15, you're simply going to chain one, single crochet into that same stitch as joining and then single crochet into each stitch all the way around. When you come to your first stitch, join with a slip stitch into the top of the first stitch, chain one and repeat. You will want to work a total of three rounds of single crochet stitches and then meet me back here and we will begin the bag sides. So I've now worked to the end of round 15. I have three rounds of single crochet stitches and that completes my bag bottom. We're now going to move on to the bag sides. So for round one of the bag sides, you're going to chain one. You're going to continue working in your color A and work a half double crochet into the same stitch as joining and then half double crochet into each stitch all the way around. When you come to the first stitch, join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch and uh, you'll have still a total of 144 stitches. At the end of round uh, one of your side, your bag side, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. You're then going to chain one and now for rounds two and three of the bag side, you're going to work half double crochet stitches in each stitch all the way around, but working in the third loop. So when you look at your stitches, you have the front of the half double crochet. Up top, you have your back loop and or your front loop and your back loop of your stitch. In back, you have a horizontal bar that runs along underneath your back loop. This is your third loop. So as you're working your half double crochet stitches, you're going to work at the back of your stitch, insert your hook under that third loop only, 
yarn over and drop a loop, and yarn over and pull through three. You're going to work in that third loop all the way around, and as you do so, you will see that it pushes the top of your stitch forward, which gives you a nice ridge of texture along the front of your bag. So you're going to work in the third loop, half double crochet in each stitch all the way around in that third loop, join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch, chain one and repeat. You'll want to work two rounds of half double crochet stitches in that third loop and then we are going to switch to our color B. At the end of round three, join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch and at this time you're going to fasten off your color A. Next you can take your color B and join with a slip stitch into the same stitch and chain one. You're then going to, for rounds four, five, and six, so for the next three rounds, working in your color B, you're going to work half double crochet stitches into that third loop of each stitch all the way around. So work three more rounds of your half double crochet in the third loop in your color B, and then meet me back here. At the end of round six, you've worked three rounds of half double crochet in the third loop. You're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of the first stitch. We're going to work one more round in the third loop. You're going to chain one. This time, instead of half double crochet, we're going to work single crochet into the third loop of each stitch all the way around. When you come to your first stitch, join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. For round eight, you're going to chain one. You're now going to work a half double crochet into the same stitch as joining. Chain one, skip one, half double crochet into the next stitch. Chain one. You're going to repeat this all the way around. Skip the next stitch, half double crochet into your next stitch, and chain one. Skip the next stitch, half double crochet into your next stitch, and chain one. Repeat this all the way around and join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch after you chain one and skip one. So be half double crochet, chain one, skip one, and then join into your first stitch. Now for at the end of round eight, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. Now for rounds nine, 10, 11, and 12, so for your next four rounds, you're going to work rounds of feather stitches. To begin, you're going to chain one. You're then going to work a beginning feather stitch into your next chain one space. To work the beginning feather stitch, you're going to yarn over Insert your hook into the next chain one space, yarn over and draw up a loop. Yarn over, insert your hook now down into the skipped stitch two rounds below under that same chain one space. Yarn over and draw up a loop. Yarn over, reach across into the next chain one space, yarn over, draw up a loop, You'll have seven loops on your hook, yarn over, and pull through all seven loops. That's your beginning feather stitch. You're then going to chain one. Now for every feather stitch here after, you're going to yarn over, insert your hook into the same chain one space as your last feather stitch, yarn over and drop a loop, 
yarn over, insert your hook into the skipped stitch, two rounds below, yarn over and drop a loop, yarn over, insert your hook into the next chain one space, yarn over and drop a loop, yarn over, pull through all the loops on your hook, and chain one. Repeat that all the way around, working your final feather stitch and the final part of your feather stitch into the same space as your first stitch. I'll show you when I come around what I mean. When you come all the way around at the end of round nine, you're going to work your final feather stitch into this final space and into the same space as your first stitch. So yarn over, insert your hook into the chain one space, drop a loop, yarn over, insert your hook into the skipped stitch, two rounds below, yarn over and drop a loop, yarn over, reach over into that first space of your first feather stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over, pull through all the loops, and chain one, you're then going to join with a slip stitch into the first chain one of your first feather stitch. You can then chain one and turn your work. Now for every round after this, you're going to be working your feather stitches into the same spaces. Uh, into the spaces in between the feather stitches of your previous round. So for round two, you'll yarn over, insert your hook into the first space, yarn over, drop a loop, yarn over, bring your hook down two rounds below, under this feather stitch, into the space down below there, insert your hook, draw up a loop, yarn over, reach across, skipping that feather stitch in between and inserting your hook in the next space, yarn over, drop a loop, yarn over, pull through all the loops on your hook. Chain one and you're going to repeat that in each of the spaces all the way around, finishing as you did before, join with the slip stitch into the first chain stitch, chain one, turn and repeat. So for this you'll want to work up to round 12, you're working a total of four rounds of feather stitches and then meet me back here. At the end of round 12, you will have worked four rounds of your feather stitches. You have the wrong side facing, you're going to chain one and then once again turn your work. So when you start round 13, you should have the right side of your bag showing. For round 13, we're going to work a half double crochet into the same stitch as joining. And then half double crochet into each stitch all the way around. This includes your chain stitches and the tops of your feather stitches. So work a half double crochet in each stitch all the way around at the end of this round you should have once again 144 half double crochet stitches. So we're just working our half double crochets in each stitch all the way around. At the end you'll have 144 half double crochet stitches. You can then join with a slip stitch at the top of your first stitch. At the end of round 13, going to join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch and chain one. Now for rounds 14 and 15, you've chained one, you're going to continue working in the same direction, working in the third loop only all the way around, you're going to work two rounds of half double crochet stitches. So half double crochet working in the third loop all the way around, join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch, chain one and repeat. This is for rounds 14 
and 15. So you'll work two rounds. At the end of those two rounds, we're going to fasten off and you're going to switch over to your color C. At the end of round 15, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch and you can then fasten off. Then for round 16, you're going to join your color C into the same stitch as joining and chain one. We are now at the repeat in our pattern. So for round 16 through to 27, you're going to be working with your color C and you're going to repeat your rounds four through to 15. So your round four, if you head back down to where you started with your color B, that's your round four. You're going to repeat that round four all the way through to the last round that we worked. You're then going to switch back to your color A. With color A, repeat your rounds four through to 15 and then switch through to your color B at the end of round 39. That's how far along you'll be. So you're going to go ahead, work those repeats, repeat rounds four through to 15, twice more, once in color C, once with color A, switch back to your color B and then meet me back here. At the end of round 39, this is what your bag looks like. You have your bottom, down up through the top and you're going to have uh, three stripes of the feather stitch, one in your color B, color C, and then color A. You're then at the end of that round 39, as mentioned, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the same stitch as joining using your color B. At this time, we're ready to work the bag top and handles. For this first round of the bag top, you're simply going to be working into that third loop again, and you're going to be working this time a single crochet into the third loop of each stitch all the way around. So we're just working regular single crochet, again in your color B, single crochet in the third loop of each stitch all the way around, and then join with a slip stitch into the top of that first stitch. At the end of round one of your bag top and handles, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch, chain one. Continue working in the same direction and for rounds two and three, you're going to single crochet into the same stitch as joining and then single crochet into each stitch all the way around. This time around and the next time around, you're working under both loops at the top of your stitch. So you're simply going to work two rounds of single crochet in each stitch all the way around. Join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch, chain one, and repeat. At the end of round three, meet me back here, and we will begin working the bag handles. At the end of round three of the top and handles, you're ready then to begin the first round of the handles. You're going to chain one. And we're going to work a single crochet into the first stitch, the same stitch as joining, and then single crochet into each of the next 37 stitches. There's 10, 
and 20. Thirty. And thirty seven. So you'll have a total of thirty eight single crochet worked. You're then going to chain fifty chains. Now for this chain, this is going to be your bag handle, so a couple of things you're going to want to work it. The chain stitch is fairly loose because we will be working into them later. Also, if you'd like to make your bag handles longer or shorter, you can do so. Just make note of how many chains you work, and then you'll want to work the same on the other side. That's 20, 40, and 50. Once you have your chain worked, you're going to be careful not to twist the chain. And on your bag, you're going to count 34. You want to skip the next 34 stitches. There's 34. Into your next stitch, you're going to work a single crochet and then single crochet into each of the next 37. So single crochet in that next stitch and each of the next 37 stitches. So again, you want to have a total of 38 single crochet. Twenty thirty. That's a total of 38. Once you have worked, once again, your 38 single crochet stitches, you're then once again going to chain 50, or again, if you change the length of your handles, you will want to adjust that, but I'm going to chain 50.
that's 40. Once you have your 50 chains, you're going to skip all the remaining stitches. There should once again be another 34 stitches and you're simply going to join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. That brings you to the end of your round four. For rounds five, six, seven, eight, and nine, so for the next five rounds, you're simply going to chain one and single crochet in the same stitches joining and then single crochet into each stitch all the way around. Now that includes your chain stitches. So you'll single crochet into each single crochet and single crochet into each chain stitch all the way around. At the end of these rounds, you'll have a total of 176 stitches if you worked 50 stitches into your chain. And uh, again, work five rounds. At the end of each round, you're joining with a slip stitch, chaining one and continuing to work in the same direction. At the end of your round nine for your bag top and handles, you're going to simply fasten off, weave in your ends, and that's all there is to working this on-trend market bag. So thank you so much for joining me. And uh, once again, I invite you to subscribe, take a look around, and be sure to check back next week for week four of the Marvelous Market Bag Crochet Along. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye. Mm -hmm.